In this video, we're going to be comparing Adalo to Webflow. What is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can create apps very easily with no code. What is Webflow? Webflow is a platform where you can be creating modern web experiences, including websites and beyond. Why would I be using Adalo? If I'm trying to create an MVP, a minimal viable product, and I'm worried about creating a workflow, I don't know where to start with creating an app, Adalo is perfect for you. Not only that, the templates allow you to move a lot quicker by having already the workflow and the app already built about 80%, and then you can go in and edit, change the colors and all of those things in the workflow of the app, but it not only allows you to move faster with your idea, it structures everything, so now it's easier to get started. Webflow, on the other hand, why would I be using this? First of all, I think Webflow is perfect for ones that are designers or very visual first, they're visually first and they want an excellent experience and they want full control over all of those nuances visually. Webflow is perfect. Also too, the structure of how you use Webflow is similar to other programs like Photoshop and others. So ones that are designers, they can make an easier transition when they're using Webflow. Which one would I use? Which one do I prefer? It depends on the exact project and the functionality that you need for your business, for your project, whatever you're trying to create. If I'm trying to create an app and I am looking to get the first users on board, I would probably go with Adalo, but again, it depends on the exact functionality that I need. If I have very specific needs of the interactions, database requests, different integrations I need. Again, I would look at the functions and what Adalo could do, but I would lean towards that. If I'm looking to have a very immersive experience, I want very specific design control. I want an experience and I'm doing something like a website and building out, I'm going to use Webflow. What I would like to point out is before you go any further, write down on a list or in the comment section down below, what are you creating? Why are you needing one of these platforms? What's your why? Now let's go into the back end and kind of look at the format of these two different platforms. If I'm looking at Adala, once I log in and I choose a template or I can start from scratch, I am now presented with being able to control the branding, the screens, the database, all of those things. And what I like about this platform, again, is everything's laid out for me already. So I can now understand if I choose this app or if I'm building this app, the workflow from when the user signs on and how they're using the app, all of the logic is already built in of how it's going to progress from one screen to another. If I'm looking at Webflow and how that's constructed, if I am looking to have a lot of control in a lot of different choices when it comes to animation, the progression of my web experience or my website that I'm building, Webflow now allows me to have that control and have all of these details of adding different elements, how it's going to interact with my uh, CMS or if I'm adding other integrations with it, if I'm adding different forms or pop-ups, all of those things, I have that control with Webflow. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're working on and what questions you have. I'll see you in the next video.